Hello and welcome. It's cloudy here in Sydney. A few empty seats in the crowd. Well, joining me is the former Melbourne skipper. He played 226 games with the Demons, Gary Lyon. Welcome, Gaz. Thanks, Hutto. Today's an exciting match. A practice match on the bill today as these two sides test each other out. GWS Giants set to take on Melbourne in this exhibition match today. It's a grand old fight. Melbourne running onto the field looking for a big performance today. The banners are ready for the players. We love the team of the red and the blue. Every heart is true for the red and the blue. It's a big day for Melbourne Forge. If they can get on top of the, the Giants' defence, they'll go a long way to winning the game. Well, they've come out in force. And just look at them get behind GWS Giants as they make their way onto the ground. The banners look great as the players get set to run through them. The captains make their way to the centre circle for the coin toss. Melbourne winning the toss. We prepare for what shapes as an enthralling contest here today. And here we go, it's GWS Giants taking on Melbourne. Applying the physical pressure. Fighting hard was McKinnon. Goes by foot. Mops up the loose ball. Pierce doesn't get low enough and gives away the free. A chance to put one through here for GWS Giants. Hicks will kick from beyond the 50. Pierce dug out the loose ball. A free kick is paid to Pierce. Moves it by foot. The mark has been taken. Got boot to ball. O'Day takes the mark. Uncontested with a driving kick. Takes the mark. Pierce controlling the airwaves on this occasion. Now with a low spearing kick. Gets into some space to mark this. Drops the ball. No prior. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? I'm really enjoying this one, Hutto. Ball gets cut off. Doing well with the mark. The kick from Downey. Allen takes a strong mark. Gets the handball away. The ball spills to Tully. Flew high but didn't hold on. Marks now and can send it back. Looks up with a kick. Allen with an easy mark. Rushes with the kick. Paxman wins the ball in the air. Puts it on the boot. Neither side posting a score so far. Kick by Scott. Running hard to take that was Mithen. Elects to kick. Neither side able to hit the scoreboard early. Punches are clear. The ball spills from the tackle. Slick with the hands. The handball hits the target. The drop punt goes straight between the big sticks. Pretty happy with that one. Puts the first goal on the board. We resume hostilities. Winning it was Zanka. Is in her possession. She's got the footy in her hands. A bit too hard with the push, and it's a free kick.
Goes by foot. A good mark under the circumstances. Moves the ball by foot. She gives chase to the footy. Ball. Brushed off easily. Randall getting in on the act. Ball's pin. Thank you. There'll be a ball up close to goal. Zanka gets it down. Just goes bang. The ball mopped up. Rush. Handballs. She gets it back. Hacking it out of there. Intercepts the ball well. Haxman with the opportunity in front of goal. Just hits the post and a minor score. The Demons by seven. Randall considering the options on the kick in. A big contested grab. Rush goes with the kick. Takes that one strongly. Bar looks to get onto the football. Wins the race to the ball. Oh. Just dismissed the tackler. Charges with intent. Just threw the ball. Hetherington. One out in the square. Gets into a good position to take that. Gets a hand in. Parker with the intercept. Parker won herself a free. Uses it by foot. The first quarter is coming to a close. Gay puts on a big hit. Does well to cut off the kick. The end of the final term sees the scores stand. Melbourne, seven. To the Giants, zero. Melbourne could have to be happy with that first term. Well, not a lot of goals to start this game. Both sides really struggling up forward. Here's Gaz to break down the stats. GWS Giants can't get their hands to the footy if they can win more of the ball than they can get back into this one. Thanks for that, Gaz. Players ready to start the second quarter. Back in the middle now. Pierce won the hit out. Gets the loose ball. Gets it out of congestion. Hanks gathers it now. Slams it home. Gets her first. Gets some reward for her efforts. That's two in a row for Melbourne. Now they lead by 13. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. That's a really good team goal. Melbourne have got on top in the marks. They've been able to control the ball in the air and it sees them in this position. We're back in motion. Clears the contest. Dug out the loose ball. Zankak was taken high in the tackle. Goes the long option. Strong mark in the contest. Moved on by Scott. Decides to keep it alive. Sinks the slipper into it. Mithin missed an opportunity to mark. Works it across the ground. Terrific mark there. Bark with a penetrating handball. Doing well to intercept that kick. Kick by Smith. Good body work to win the mark. A spearing kick. The umpire pings her here. A spearing kick from Bar. Allen at marks. Looks to move it by foot. She gets above the crowd. The kick from Eason. 
Sharon will be the recipient of the free. A chance here to convert for Melbourne. Testing shot outside 50. Clean pickup by Lampard. Lampard. Gurns a free kick. Lining up for goal. 45 metres out. Going for goal number one. Nails the goal. Lampard celebrating hard. Melbourne. Fleet is now at 19. Umpire ready to resume play. Clears the contest. Ends up with Godet. Lampard takes it strongly. Puts boot to ball. And the mark will be paid. 35 metres out. They can't afford to be wasting these shots at goal from the corridor. Where are going for number one? What a goal! She's excited about that one. That's four in a row for Melbourne. The margin is 25. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. This is how they can score, Big Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. GWS Giants have turned it over too often today. They aren't coping with the pressure. They should try and slow it down and control the ball for a moment. Pierce with the punch. Has it now. O'Day got the hands free. A great mark taken there. 45 metres out. She can put it through. That goal is a cracker. Gets her first. They get around her after that effort. Melbourne have kicked the last five goals. The margin is 31. Well picked up. Just dismisses her opponent. Goes by hand to Nielsen. Hits the target by hand. Mackerel keeps coming. Barclay needs to deliver a goal with this chance. Smiles all round. GWS Giants with their first of the match. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. Melbourne have managed to rack up a big number of marks, and it's easy to see why they're leading this match. Melbourne are making the most of their ruck dominance. It's one area of their game that seems on top here. Puts on a big hit, scoops up the ball. Smith leaps over the top, uses it now. Great mark under pressure. Decides to go to the middle. Nice work from Stevenson. Chose to kick it. Terrific mark there. Smith drives the kick. It's marked by Birch. Keeps the kick low. Picks up the loose ball. Constant pressure and rewarded. Under pressure and keeps it alive. Thank you. We'll get a stoppage. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? There's not enough effort out there at the minute. Hurry kick. Cam gets on the... The siren sounds, and that's the end of the term. The scores. Melbourne, 31 to GWS Giants, 6. Melbourne will go into the rooms at halftime with plenty of confidence and back themselves for the second half. O'Day, the number one ranked player on the ground. The opposition need to get a hold of her. An exciting second half to come. See you again for the third quarter. A big second half about to begin. Back in the middle to resume play. Thumps it clear. Trying to avoid everything out there. Sweeping handball from Pierce. She has the ball. That's the sort of goal that can get the team up and about. They are starting to stamp their dominance on this game. Sanka enjoying that goal. About to resume play. Pierce won the duel. The ball in the hands of Giva. Movement by hand. O'Day quickly onto the boot. Might be too far out to score. 
A chance to put a second goal on the board. Oh. Could be upset with that. I haven't seen her for a while, Gaz. Yeah, she's having a quiet match, Hutto. Stevenson not wasting time. Elects to play on. Just put her hands in the back of the opponent, and it's a free. Randall drives a low kick. Bar has a great set of hands. Winds up and goes long. Ends up marking uncontested. Del Pass puts it on the boot. A good mark out of the circumstances. Ball. Moves it now. Where it with the mark. Pumps it inside 50. Marks in a bit of space. Takes a few deep breaths before this important kick. 35 metres out. Should be simple from here. She drives it towards goal. A drop punt through the goals. She'll be happy with goal number two. Celebrating hard. Melbourne lead by 37. Centre bounce. Pierce won it. She gets her hands on the footy. Got the hands free. Hacks it out of there. Picked off by Hartley. Here's Schmidt. The fans hoping this one goes through to give them a glimmer of hope. She's really enjoying that goal. The Giants behind by 31. Taps it down. Piers out. Quickly onto the boot. Gathered by Beeson. What can you tell us, Gaz? I'm waiting for something to change the way this game's going right now. Warren releases by hand. Handballs to a teammate on the run. She pops through the goal. She celebrates hard after that. The Demons doing well at the moment. Back in the middle, has the rucks go at it. Pierce won the hit out. With the ball now. Uses the hands instead of the body, and it's a free kick. Tips it towards half forward. Picks it up. It's free kick. Sends it into space. Thank you, guys. I'll have it. Slapped away. Might be a bit of an injury for Parker. Can you tell us more, Gary? She's coming from the ground now, Hutto, but it didn't look great. The umpire will ball it up. Sanka got the tap. Taken by Hetherington. Bonner collects the loose ball. Uses the short handball. Ball collected. Giving it off was Haxman. Opportunity for Gay. Thank you. Pierce thumped it clear. Used the hands and gives away the free. Decides to kick. Tully takes the mark. Just sends it into space. Intercepted by Hanks. Camp. Going for number one. Congratulated by her teammates. Melbourne have kicked back-to-back -back goals. Now they lead by 43. Pierce does well. Where there to mop up. Just gave it away. Gets the ball out of heavy traffic. Marked by Hanks. Looking to kick, goal number two. Rushes the through from behind. Randall with the kick in duties. Nice mark under pressure. Stevenson hacks it forward. Takes the mark all by herself. Randall collects the kick. Gathered by Hanks. Goes by hand. Where it has the ball. Does well to keep it in play. Couldn't complete the play. Ball out of bounds. Ball over the boundary line. Well, this game's really getting out of hand. Pierce won the tap. She gains the possession. Drop punt straight through the middle. Look at her. She really enjoyed that one. Melbourne lead by 50. Back with another centre bounce. Tap down. Takes possession. Falls pin. Thank you.
We'll get a ball up. As we go to the final change, the scores are Melbourne 62, GWS Giants 12. A big final term coming up. Melbourne walk into three-quarter time with the lead and the confidence they can win this game. The forwards starting to take control of this game. Plenty of goals in that quarter. O'Day continues to dominate this contest. She's the most dominant player on the ground at the moment. Last quarter action, ready to go. They have to go quickly to have any chance from here. Melbourne have been extremely well organised at the stoppages and it sees them being able to win the ball from the clearance. Lobs the handball. Stevenson just gets it onto the boot. A chance to reload the attack now. Channels a long kick. Strong mark in the contest. Goes with the kick. Spears the ball. Takes an uncontested mark. Gets it away. Handball's under pressure. Mithen links with a teammate who can run. Taken well at ground level by Smith. The ball ends up with Pierce. Hold on to the ball for a few moments and just take the sting out of the game. Spears the ball. A strong mark in the pack from Pierce. It has to be a big kick to get it from there. Going for goal number two. Hits the post, and it's a minor. Melbourne with a handy break. They lead GWS Giants 63 to 12. Binds this and marks well. Bonner uses it by foot. Stevenson did well to win that ball. Slams it on the boot. Finds this one all by herself. A big contested grab. Keeps it moving. At full stride, receives the handball. Smooth just gets the kick away. Wants to play on. Bar unable to hold on. At full stride, receives the handball. The loose ball picked up. Allen with quick hands. Releases the handball. Receives the handball and takes off. Dishes it off to a player on the run. Slams it onto the boot. Good body work to win the mark. Barclay heads towards the goals. The drop part sails between the big sticks. The teammates rush over. GWS Giants now only trailed by 45. McKinnon thrashes it. Sheriff with the ball. Zanka gets it out of congestion. Just got the hands in the back there. Drives the kick hard. Tully gets on the end of this. Hands that ball to the opposition. Gets a quick kick away. Zanka hangs onto that one. Got the hands free. A chance for Pierce. Doing well was Jacobson. Haven't seen her for a while, Gaz. You're right, Hutto. She's gone missing lately. Not many touches of the ball for her. Allen kicks hurriedly. Spent that one before she earned it. Smooth collects it. Kicks in heavy traffic. Ends up turning this ball over. Goes with the kick. Nielsen wins the ball in the air. Decides to kick. Good mark. And looks to send it back. Moves it by foot. Taking a nice grab. Good opportunity for Melbourne to put a goal through here. Might be too far out to score. Leave it on. Jacobson going for number one. Landed in her back on this occasion. Converting these opportunities could make a big difference to today's result. 20 metres from home. Move it on. 
That kick was pure. She's absolutely loving it, and why not? That's two now, finding her feet in front of goals. GWS Giants really had their pants pulled down on this occasion. Gary, what did you think of today's game? Too many passengers today for mine. Just a lot of players not playing to the expected level, and it shows. Thanks, guys. The team of the red and the blue Every heart beats true For the red and the blue And we sing this song to you Melbourne have beaten GWS Giants 69 to 18 Thanks for joining us As always, it's been a pleasure We look forward to seeing you back soon Thanks, Hanno Until next time